Ever wondered what the secret to longevity is? Well, prepare to be enlightened. My research has looked into what dietitians can do to prevent the ageing process known as sarcopenia, relating to a loss of muscle mass, strength and physical function. This can happen as early as our 40s. I'm now going to tell you the story of Doris. Doris represents many older people. Now imagine Doris is your grandma. Doris is 77 years old. She lives on her own since her husband passed away three years ago. She misses him dearly. Her memory isn't what it used to be. She forgets little things like whether she's eaten, who's been to visit, and where the TV remote is. The days all roll into one when you don't leave the house. Following a fall last year, she's quite unsteady on her feet, and she's afraid of falling again and ending up in hospital. Doris often gets lonely. Her daughter visits once a week with her shopping, and the carers visit twice a day to, make, to get her washed, dressed and out of bed. They make her a cup of tea and a slice of toast, but she wishes they'd stay with her and have a chat. It's not the same eating on your own. Doris doesn't want to be a burden on anyone, so she doesn't complain. Everyone has noticed Doris has lost a lot of weight recently, but Doris doesn't seem too concerned about this. She just puts it down to getting old and tells them not to worry. Her appetite isn't great, and her dentures don't fit anymore because she's lost a lot of weight, so she has trouble chewing foods. She can't be bothered to cook for one, so she often makes do with a sandwich or some soup and some biscuits. My background as a community dietitian saw hundreds of patients like Doris who face many barriers to eating well and keeping active in older age. We all know the saying, if you don't use it, you'll lose it, but why do so many people struggle to follow that advice? And with an ageing population, it's important that we reduce the financial burden on the health and social care system. Did you know malnutrition costs the NHS £13 billion a year? Now compare that to obesity, which costs around £6 billion a year. We will all experience the, the effects of ageing if we're lucky. And wouldn't you want those extra life years to be led as independently and as able as possible? My research ultimately will lead to changes in practice to enable dietitians to prevent sarcopenia in patients just like Doris. I carried out focus groups with community dietitians to understand the barriers and facilitators to enable them to deliver early exercise advice alongside nutritional counselling to promote strength, independence and prevent the slippery slope to frailty. Okay. <laughs>